Hello everyone, welcome again. Now we will continue our learning on Q&A session. Okay, and in this Q&A session, we still will talk about rock properties, reservoir rock properties. And today's topic is about calculating average porosity. And this is our case. Calculate the arithmetic average and thickness weighted average for the following measurements. So we have six samples with their own thickness and then porosity. So sample one, this thickness and the porosity, sample two, and down to sample number six, okay? And usually maybe we use arithmetic averaging. And of course, if we use arithmetic averaging, then it will be like this. So we just sum all the porosity values and then divide it by the number of measurements or the number of samples here. So let's calculate. If I make my own table, so it should be thickness in feet and then porosity in percent. And then this one, one, 1.5, 1, 2, 2.1, 1.1. So it must be core samples, right? Because the thickness, it's very short. Okay. So I make my own table. And if you want to do averaging, then it will be summation of the porosity values from the six samples divided by the number of measurements or the number of samples, which is six. Okay, so it's the arithmetic average of the porosity samples. Okay, you can use this approach, arithmetic averaging, but of course, the, the best method, the best approach is to calculate the thickness weighted average rather than arithmetic average. Okay, it may be when you are in a hurry, you can calculate like this, okay? This is not, this is actually not a bad estimate, but if you have time to do proper analysis, you must do this calculation, thickness weighted average. And actually the formula is, it's quite simple like this. Okay, so we will do that. I will copy this one and then we will create another row, another column, I mean. And I will call this poro multiplied by thickness. Okay, so it will be like this. This one, thickness multiplied by poro. And then maximize, and then we can just do like this. So we have the porosity multiplied by thickness. And then you see this symbol, the sigma is actually the summation. So if you do summation, it is like this, equals sum of porosity multiplied by thickness. So it's the value. Okay, and then, and the next one is here, the summation of all the thicknesses. So it's just sum of the thickness. It's very easy. And now we can calculate the thickness porosity, thickness weighted average porosity. So it's, this one divided by this one. Okay, done, right? So I use this one. Okay, so the thickness weighted average, the proper average porosity that we should use, it's actually 
12.1%, whereas the simplistic arithmetic average porosity is 11.67. Different, right? So as I, as I said before, when you are in a hurry, you can use this method. You just sum all the porosity and divide it by the number of measurements. But if you want to do proper analysis, if you want to get the best estimate of average porosity, then this second approach is the thing that you must do. Okay, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.